Hi, and welcome to Discover Energy Work Special on Seeing Without Eyes. Wow, uh, yesterday was a big day. Um, so I didn't report on what I uh, experienced in my um, blindfold session. So the blindfold session has been getting progressively longer, and uh, yesterday was the second day that I sat in uh, complete darkness uh, because the, the blindfolds are... are um, they don't let any light in, um, but they've got a nice pocket in front of them so you can open your eyes. So I sat with my eyes open in darkness and um, I'm, I'm just really, I feel like, uh, like I was saying, I've got this life review where I'm going back and looking at things in my life and uh, sometimes and I think we can all relate to this I'm saying sorry to some people that I wanted to say sorry or that I miss some people and I love some people um, which you know that's an interesting um, uh, fact and so when I got to the class in the evening I, I said oh I'm you know this is a bit might sound a bit weird and what was very nice uh, about the class is uh, Michael I said okay we're gonna we're not gonna use words like weird strange funny use the word interesting because it's non-judgmental um, and once we start you know kind of calling ourselves not okay then we are calling ourselves not okay and then we're going to try and suppress that so we don't want to suppress that um, and um, and then we had um, so so after that I was like yeah I, I know I know it but when I'm talking to a group I want to sort of how can I say, um, get their acceptance that I think, oh, this is a bit strange. And I'm like, hey, that's kind of, you know, a weird form of conformity that's sort of uh, putting me down and it's not necessary. Uh, so I thought that was a really interesting point. Um, and I, I wrote, um, uh, we listen, I listened to everybody's feedback and like some people, like there was one lady, she had this orange light in front of her eyes, which is like really amazing. I thought it was very interesting. Um, another person, similar to me, had light. Uh, you know, I told you I had those two lights uh, that appeared. And then the next two days, just nothing. They just wouldn't appear for him. And I was like, oh, wow. That's exactly what I, what I had. But of course, I didn't, um, you know, in front of the group, there's that peer pressure. I don't want to tell anybody that I didn't ha that didn't happen to me and so on. And um, so we took a long time um, uh, talking and uh, expressing each person's um, experience. And what I felt was, uh, again, like last time, you know, in the class, I'd learned, I learned a lot from what they were experiencing. And I learned again from uh, Michaela. And this is, it's sort of spiritual and it's not. So I, I, there's been no talk of spirituality really in the class. There's been no talk of psi, there's a uh, psychic functioning. Uh, there's talk of seeing without your, without your eyes or what else is possible. Is it only our eyes we use for seeing? And we're, we're uh, curious and we're interested in what else is possible. And, um, and I think that's nice. I think it's, I think it's good because you know sometimes people feel you know like they've got something to prove if you if you get too uh, psychic on them or spiritual, um, and it's not about that uh, uh, in the end. Then I had we had this exercise where we're trying to like see the colours, and I've got these little origami. You know, this is my hand. This is how big they are. The little origami papers, and I was trying to do it, and just by moving the paper, I. I started to feel quite sick and uh, I think Mi Michaela picked the color yellow for me. And I think it was obviously, you know, it was obviously a color which triggered me. And she was saying it relates also to the chakra. You know, chakra is the Indian idea of energy vortexes, which are places on the, bo on the body where, you know, particularly large amount of energy um, is, is um, spiraling. Uh, at the front and the back and um, I'm pretty sure that the solar plexus chakra is yellow so I think it was probably uh, related to the solar plexus chakra but she also said to me 
my pieces of paper are too small. So I went down to the store, the art shop, and I have got the, uh, okay, this is too big, I know. So A4 size, but I went, <laughs> I went down immediately and got as many, it's not actually paper, it's like um, uh, this foam. I don't know what it's called. It's a bit like the, the material that, that you make wet, wet suits out of. So I've got that material. So I'll be cutting that up in the afternoon and making little cards for myself. Not little, like A4 size cards. Um, and so essentially, you know, um, again, I'm, I've got to say that Michaela said, you know, if you want to talk about something in the blog, just talk about it. But be, be aware that sometimes... Uh, people, you're setting people's expectations, and it's not about proprietary knowledge or anything. It's, but you know, everybody's got uh, expectations of succeeding, and and uh, and so on. And adults are very different to children. Um, and uh, if you if you the videos give the impression that you're just going to go, oh, put on the mask, I can see everything. There's some magic spell. No. You do it all. You do it. I do it. We do the work ourselves and we see what we see. And your personal experience is going to be your personal experience. And I heard that really last night. I heard that from everybody. And uh, I think that was really uh, useful to hear. Um, yeah. Um, what else is there to say? I mean, we've got a lot of homework. Um, uh, it, you might say the homework's got less but it depends on how much you want to do. So I'm probably going to do, I, I, I like the fact that I'm doing two hours. Um, I still like the effects of uh, doing a live review. Um, and, um, and I wasn't the only person that, that had a live review. I think other, one other person um, did as well. And um, so I've got, I think I've got three bits of homework and I'll do my homework and then, even in a week, um, everybody's like, well, kind of seeing something, which is kind of impressive. At the end of the class, just like like a gag, say, um, Michaela, we've all got our masks on, Mich Michaela says, okay, I'm going to put a cup, a colored cup in front of me. And of course, I've got the, in my mind, I've, I, she's sitting in my screen, I can look at the screen, I can see her it, in my mind, I can see her, the cup and her and everything. And of course, um, everybody guesses and everyone says, you know, it's, somebody says it's blue, but it might be green. I, uh, I, I can't remember whether I thought blue or I saw blue because I went, well, I've got to see it. Like, don't, don't, don't listen to, to uh, thinking. What do you see? And I was like, yeah, it's blue, green, I think blue. So I said blue. Anyway. Okay, take off your masks. Yeah, we took off our masks, and there, Michaela sitting there, and we can't see on the screen the where the, the color of the cup is. We can't see the cup at all. And um, and then she lifts it up and said, "Look," and it's blue. And we're like, "Wow!" And she said, "And isn't the interesting thing it isn't the interesting thing that you couldn't see it on the screen? So you're looking." You're looking in another way. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, all my experience with energy work, that, that's totally possible. Um, and uh, so, you know, it was kind of a wonderful way to round off the class. I think everybody went home with this like feeling, probably that everybody's doing better than they are, yeah. Um, and then to not think, remember not to think like that. And, um, and everybody, uh, I think, I think, I, I've really got to say it's really working well on the internet because number one is, you know, when you've got a class and you're doing two days, it's, it's an enormous amount of pressure to, to see something. Um, and, and I've had, I've had a week, I've had like, you know, do this, think about it for, for hours. And when somebody's felt something, yeah, I don't get that feedback immediately from them. I've got it like, you know, a week later so I've got my five days of experience and then later without expectations being put on me by other people's experience in a sort of a, um, a real life class um, uh, over two days I've got this slow more gradual um, uh, 
collection of experience and then I'm able to compare it and find, yeah, wow, you know, um, I'm meeting, I'm meeting expectations and certainly I'm meeting my expectations. Seeing anything, yeah, uh, would already be amazing. So there's Google listening to my, uh, my um, blog, which is very sweet. Google, thanks very much. It's horrible, isn't it? Anyway, uh, we'll know that Google sees everything. Um, so um, keep, uh, keep tuned. I'm just going to go and do my homework now. Um, and uh, yeah, and do ask me questions. Um, and I'm, I've been writing notes. Oh, that was a funny story. So I, I went to a cafe this morning where they have a pet bird. Um, and I started writing my notes and, and the, uh, the bird came and landed on my iPad and it's like I'm feeding it little bits of toast. And um, so I've taken a photo. And so you can see the, the InfoVision um, on there. Yeah, it's, it's a, I, I write my notes in uh, PowerPoint. Well, I, I decided to write my notes in PowerPoint. So that's, that's all. It's just uh, I'm not making presentations. So I, I just like the format of point, point, point. Okay, guys, um, have a fantastic, I think I want to say fantastic week because it's kind of like a new week started for me with the uh, class, um, but have a fantastic coming weekend, I should say. <laughs>